this place. Look at all, like this is crazy. That this is the only Ouija board museum in the world. In the whole world? In the whole world. I, I didn't even right know now. that. And we just happen to be in Salem, which is one of the most haunted places in the whole world. I don't know what's gonna happen. ever been used. This is uh, insane. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. <laughs> Guys, I'm like smiling out of fear right the now. Stuff we do. Let's see. There's something wrong with this. It's defecting it. It's taking its energy out. Bro, it's not working. you guys ever questioned Ouija boards? Well, today, it's not only my first time filming in Salem, it's the first time anyone's really filmed inside what is the Ouija board museum. Here in Salem, with the Hawthorne right there, we have the graveyard in back of us going to the witch house down that way. We have everything surrounding us, leaving us, again, right in the middle. Doing something that is gonna be different, not before on YouTube, and that's just going to be exploring all of their haunted artifacts, the haunted Ouija boards, just going to regular Ouija boards. It leaves the night with tons of questions, and hopefully we can get some answers, but let's just get in there and see how it goes. As we just entered the museum, and this is what it looks like right off the bat. And it's going to be super exciting because I don't know a lot about Ouija boards, so we're going to get the whole rundown on them and see, you know, where this all originated, how this place is, has its own collection. So we're going to enter the museum right now. There's a lot. Hey. Hey. So you're the owner? I am. My name is Sean Kozik. I'm the owner of the Salem Nice to meet you. I'm Josh. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, good to meet you Tyler. as well. Well, the Ouija board's a pretty mysterious item, and a lot of people are really unsure where it came from, or maybe that's a much newer thing that toy companies have just put out to make money on. Uh, but these really, they date back to the mid-1800s here in America, and it comes from the spiritualist movement here, where, you know, pre-Civil War, you had two sisters named the Fox Sisters, who had made a claim that they could communicate with spirits who knocked responses back to them. And so as their news traveled, other people made that claim, and um, that's really the birth of modern spiritualism. So other people, just kind of asking yes and no, no questions, waiting for a knock or two, uh, eventually tried counting knocks to figure out what letter of the alphabet they were on. And those conversations take an extremely long time, so they sped it, they sped it up by introducing an alphabet board. They just would point to the alphabet, they would wait for a knock. Somebody eventually took this device down here in the case called the automatic writing planchette. And that has a pencil at the front, wheels at the back, that device is part of the spiritualist movement in Europe where a medium would channel a spirit through themselves, write or draw on a piece of paper, whatever came through. So that device, it exists uh, as early as 1853, came to America and it crossed paths with the alphabet board. That's really how we get one of these boards. So there's no inventor, two devices crossing paths during the Civil War. Wow. That's literally like two good ideas combined to make the perfect one. Yeah, so I actually do have a question for you too. Yeah. So for that knocking method that you talked about, have you ever seen anything like that in person? I have not seen that in person, but you know, lots of people come to the museum to tell me stories and I hear knocking quite a bit. That has nothing to do with the Ouija board, they're just in a haunted house or a pl place they believe is uh, haunted and they heard knocking back. Interesting. Cause you know why I brought that yeah, up, course, right? Yeah, cause we have friends who they can connect and they ask questions and they do kind of exactly what you were saying, go through the alphabet yep. and we just hear this knocking and you can hear sure. them come from other rooms and stuff. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen before. Yeah, yeah. But that's what, when you said yeah. that, it just made me instantly think about that. Yeah, no, I heard, yeah. I yeah so they that. were doing that pre Ouija board. That's the evolution of that conversation. Uh, so the knocking really is where it starts. Uh, today, you know, once those two devices cross paths, it became a very user friendly product where now, you know, the, the planchette just, you know, points out the alphabet to or spells out the messages for the people. Um, but because this is the Civil War when all this is kind of happening, everyone's been affected by death. And so these boards really helped a lot of people to find comfort, closure, the answers they were looking for, and they really weren't being viewed as an evil or negative thing that a lot of people think of today. Wow. Um, 
So they're homemade until 1890, and that's when a businessman down in Baltimore, his name is Charles Kennard, uh, there's a picture of him up here on the top left, and um, he creates the first board, first talking board. It's down here in the first case, uh, it's from 1890, it's the oldest one in the museum, and it's called a witch board. That's this that one? one? Yep. So that's the oldest one here, 1890. Damn. Uh, no logo on it. It says good night as opposed to goodbye. Wow. And wow. Good night <laughs> instead. That's crazy. Yeah. And so he calls it just a witch board. That's kind of a generic name for these spirit board, talking board, witch board are all generic names. It's not until a few months later, there's a woman named Helen Peters, and she asked the board what it actually what it wants to be called. And the board spelled back Ouija. And wow. she asked, what does it mean? What? I, didn't, I never know knew that. That. Yeah. didn't know that at all. And we, we deal with this, and we never even knew about the history no, or anything. I know. This is great stuff for me, because like I, I never learn by like books, or, or it's, I have to no, physically, no. someone has to tell me something, and I'm like, I'll remember it. You know what I mean? So this is great. Yeah, it, That's what I love about the Ouija board. It's the alphabet on a board, and most people would not question beyond what's the deal with this. You know, they right. know it as a mass-produced board from a, from a game from company. From toys. But really, it's it's much older and it's, de it's, you know, it's rooted in spiritualism. They're always meant to be spirit communication tools and um, because people being affected by death and just the way that people viewed death back then, these boards are viewed so much differently than today. Yeah, so, seriously. So, but Helen, Helen asked the board what it wants to be called. It spells back Ouija. And she asked, what does it mean? The board spelled back good luck. So the board named itself, and Ouija wow. becomes that first mass-produced board. Such a cool story. Dang. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, so this woman, Helen, that I'm talking about, uh, she's a pretty important person in, in my world, in the museum. She's a, a woman not just responsible for naming it, actually uh, proving it worked at the patent office. She was related to, she was the sister-in-law of the person that patented the Ouija board, and uh, she went to the patent office with him, and clerk after clerk, no one wanted to sign off on the patent, until finally the chief patent clerk said, I don't know you, you don't know me. If you can use the board, tell me my name, I'll give you the patent. So Helen, being a strong medium, used the board, told him his name, and that's how we got the patent for the Ouija board. Now sadly, <laughs> she's a woman turn of the century, and she gets written out of history. Uh, so it's not, we only uncovered the story 10 years ago. Uh, we actually found out that her and her husband had died poor. They were buried in a friend's family plot out in Denver, Colorado. Now we knew where she was buried, but their names, they weren't added to the headstone. In Salem, Mass. So the museum is in Salem, Massachusetts. Again, the world's only Ouija board museum. And why it needs to be here is not just because Salem is known for spooky and haunted things and Halloween. Uh, the Parker Brothers factory was in Salem. Uh, what? Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know, know that, that either. either. <laughs> God dang. I used to be a kid in KB Toys. And and I would I, I would try to get a Ouija board. My parents were always like, "No, you can't get one." But it was, it was always like KB Parker and yeah. stuff underneath the yeah. boards and stuff. I never knew that it was all assembled and made in Salem. It was. That, I, yeah, that's crazy. I would have never guessed that at all here in Salem. Dude, this guy knows it all. Keep going. <laughs> this is great for me. So the factories here in Salem, they uh, the Parker Brothers, they bought the brand uh, in '66, which for a million dollars the most ever paid for a game at that point. Wow. And in 67, it became the only game to ever outsell Monopoly. So just wow. a million. A ghost talking board. A ghost talking <laughs> board outplayed Monopoly. That's crazy. But you know what I'm wondering? I wonder if, if, if they they seen that it, it, it was working. Like they were talking to people. They got so invested, they thought it was so amazing that that's why they did it. Or was it for like a quick money scheme that they seen? What do you think? Well. The capitalist side of this board, I always say, is always the more evil side of this board. Yeah. I mean, in 1890, it's patented as a game. Really, one of the main reasons is that's how it's taxed. So there's, you know, selling a million of them in 67, it was a smart move that they bought it. Yeah. You know? um, so, you know, I wouldn't say it's a quick cash grab. It's over time. I mean, that board has paid for itself many times over. A million dollars in 66, and today sure. there's millions of boards sold. Um, but I, I definitely would say that the evil side is the is the capitalist side of it. For sure. So while you talk about like the evil side and stuff like that, I guess my question is like, what would be the one story that you truly believe that could be like the scariest story that would come to your mind throughout what happened through a Ouija board? Luckily, here at the museum, a lot of people come to visit and they just come to find me and tell me their Ouija story. 
They don't care about much, many of the things on the wall. They just come to find me. They tell me stories that people didn't believe them. People laughed at them. They want validation as to what happened. And uh, so over time, through the TBHS, we've acquired quite a few donated boards. Boards that were sent or, or brought in because the people had bad experiences with them. Oh, wow. And in the museum is probably one of the, to me, it's one of the more no notorious uh, boards that I've had to deal with. Uh, if we want, we can go talk about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show it. That. And, you know, the story behind it is, um, so I, the TBHS has a, has a uh, post office box. And that's where the, a lot of these boards actually come to that P.O. box. And they know that it's Ouija boards, the postal workers. And so they get very they're afraid of them. They, um, if a board sits there for a couple days, they call me to tell me there's something down there. I've been there to pick up boards, try to open them in the post office. They've kicked me out. They won't allow me to open the box. No there. way. Wow. <laughs> what? They know. They absolutely know. And so part of the reason why they know is because 10 years ago or so, when we first opened the P.O. box, one of the first boards to arrive in the museum is the one here in the back left. So it's hard to see, it's behind a wow, black yeah. frame. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. I didn't even see that one at first, yeah. So when I picked it up, all that guys, the postal worker wrote on the outside of the box, careful, salt is leaking. Salt is leaking. And when I opened it, it was a Ouija board wrapped in a black shroud. A uh, little copy of the New Testament, a little mini Bible, was included. What? Wow. As well as five pounds of salt. So this is just some of the salt that was sent. It really, they filled the box right to the top. So this person had written in and um, they said that they bought the board at the estate of an old dead woman. They found it in the back of her closet. They had brought it home. They locked it in their shed and their son had broken into the shed and was now using the Ouija board. And so about three months of conversation back and forth with this person every day, every day was crazier than the day before. The son was now clawing and eating the furniture, speaking in tongue, speaking in something room she couldn't see. He tried to kill one of the siblings. So this one here is one of the most notorious because uh, it went on for so long. And typically with the donated boards that we have, you know, when people get rid of those boards, usually those problems tend to go away. Whatever the problem yeah. was, uh, this was one of the rare instances where it still went on for an additional three months after that, after they donated the boards. And in this case, the, the son actually had to be committed to a mental institution. Whoa, what? Wow. And it's from that board? Yep. Wow, so that's to me, a story. To me, that's one of the best that's, ones. Yeah, you know, that's, that's crazy. That's a story for and sure. And just because, you know, I was involved as far as the, the person reaching out and telling the story. And every day you just kept hearing more and more crazy stories and just, you know, you couldn't believe that, like, how is this happening? How is yeah. it happening? And when you listen to anyone's Ouija story, I always tell people, I'm like, don't base it on whether or not you think things move on their own or whether or not lights flicker on their own. Just base it on if the person tells you pretty matter of fact, that happened, that happened, that happened. And I, again, I've never heard one Ouija story where I think anyone's lying to me. I believe they believe 100% whatever they've told me. Right, no, I agree, because that's that's like, a, it's everything's an opinion, too. Every, in, the, in the paranormal field, it's an opinion. I, if I share my story that this happened to me here, that's what I believed in. That sure. doesn't mean it's technically true, but it's what happened for me. Maybe there was a malfunction in devices, or maybe that's what I wanted to believe in my head, but that's what was my story. Sure. So it makes sense, yeah. right? I mean, you could also, like with that story too like what you believe in whether it did happen or not it's, it's a manifestation we manifest Could, the energy yeah everything is there's no scientificness here is what we're saying too it's your beliefs but i mean hell if it made the person go crazy i'm sure i believe it yeah. That's, i oh, believe it too yeah. oh yeah I mean, absolutely for something yeah that crazy and that that yeah. yeah yeah i mean is it a coincidence you know that those things started happening after you use the ouija board or is it because of the board exactly mm -hmm. wow so what I think is really interesting about the Ouija board is just how it's been viewed over time. Because today, a lot of people have seen a horror movie or they had access to these when they were kids. They probably messed around with it and had a bad experience with it. So most people only know bad things about the board. But again, in the beginning, it's a civil war and they're helping people. They're grieving, they're affected by death, and the boards are meant to help people. Uh, behind me on the wall are some examples of what I'm talking about. 
these are this mostly is the time frame of 1920. So you have magazines, newspapers mm -hmm. all up on the wall where you see kids using it, couples, women using it alone, and it's not thought of the way a lot of people think of it today. And so you know, I think that's important for people to understand that this is not created to summon demons or devils you know it's really meant to help people yeah of course i love that today people do try to use it for that kind of yeah. stuff because yeah. i love everything about the ouija board the good the bad and you know i'm okay <laughs> that people will do stupid things on ouija boards i right. encourage it all the time yeah you know uh, that's part of the reason why i love the ouija board is that you know uh, a lot of times people use it they use it one time they get the experience they want, yeah. and they never and they want to use it again. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, dude. One and done. Yeah, it's so, the, if we're going to say one and done, what are the chances we can try one of those boards? Oh, 100%. In the case? Yeah, I'll take it out for you. What? <laughs> Yo, whoa. Okay, I totally Tyler, did not think that. Fuck? I totally did that, but I'm that's down. Best. Not the crazy one. We won't, we won't do the crazy one. No, no, that's the but, Can we do the crazy one? Sure. <laughs> All right. All right, yeah. Crazy that's, one. That's crazy, but I'm actually kind of down. I'll take it out. We're here. Case, uh, We're know, here in the Ouija board museum. Problem. We have to. Dude. The craziest board in here. <laughs> Everyone is watching like, you guys are fucked. That's oh, what they're saying. I know it. I know it. You guys want it to happen. I know you guys do, you sick fucks. <laughs> so you're the, you're the first person who's ever been like, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, seriously, Everyone's yeah. like, no, no, you know? So that's yeah. what. No, I want things to happen. You know what I mean? I'm obsessed by this Ouija board. That's and awesome. And so, you know, nothing happens for me. Right. Uh, and so I encourage, I want to be able to see it. And just because it doesn't happen for me as much as I want it to, uh, I do get to see it, people, other people experience stuff. Right. You know, the donated boards that are here, people walk past the oldest stuff in the museum. They walk straight to the more modern boards that have been donated. And they'll be like, I feel something close to this board. They weren't influenced by me telling them that that's a haunted or donated board. They just walked past it and were drawn to it. Wow. You know, so I think that's really cool to see that, you know, uh, in the last month, something happened here where, you know, this space has been known for paranormal activity. And the side of the room where those donated boards are has been considered to be more active than the side we're standing on now. Okay, so all of those on that side of the room is you know, what's going to You know, I was feeling that in my head. I'm like, I feel like this is like going to be the hot spot. Yeah. In my head, I was saying that. So I, I don't, it could be some sort of manifestation around. Or it could just be that freaking board. Maybe. <laughs> maybe because that's where it is. That, yeah. that side of the room. So next door to the, the building we're in is a wand shop. And in the basement to the wand shop, uh, the guy who makes the wands has told stories for years about being touched, pushed, scratched, seeing, seeing things down there. And those are stories that have happened long before Ouija boards were in the building. Wow. So as I was setting up the space, people would come, the neighbors would come through, tell me these kind of stories. Um, about a year ago, I actually had a, a paranormal team from the UK come do an investigation. And when they listened back to the recordings, they kept hearing, get out, get out. Wow. And they swore what was ever on that side of the room was very anti-woman. The cool thing that just happened a month ago was a woman came to the museum. We weren't even close to that side of the room. I hadn't begun telling her any stories like that. And we were kind of the beginning. And out of nowhere, she stopped me and was like, something is screaming in my hearing aid to get out. Yo, that's the first time I heard something like that. That's the crazy. hearing aid because they can talk through you know devices. Yeah. So you'll be able to hear that. I would have never oh, thought about God. that in that direction. Imagine, dude. What if we can pull that? What if we put hearing aids inside of us one day and literally walk around because we'll be able to hear what they're saying? Because we can't hear it without it and we go to a haunted place. That could be. No one's thing. done that. Dang. You just gave me an idea. Hey, this is my idea. Everyone who's watching it, you know this is the idea now. We're doing it. It's not the coolest thing. That coolest would be ahead. interesting if we could yeah. see. The woman came back. She forgot to take photographs back here, so they let her back again. And she was here for two minutes. She had sat in the chair closest to the first case, got up, ran past the person, screaming that the chair was extremely hot, and she was hearing get out in a hearing aid. Now the chair, I didn't tell her anything about that as well. The chair that's here it used to sit next door at Crowhaven, which is the oldest switch shop here in Salem. The tarot card readers used to sit in the chair. They had four matching chairs. That's the one they sat in. Until one day, two years ago, they came in, they felt very uncomfortable sitting in the chair. They didn't want it in their building. So they brought it over here to me. So the fact that this woman had an experience with hearing get out, just like the EVP messages, and then sat in a chair that was extremely hot, uncomfortable, like it was for tarot card readers uh, next door. Where's the chair? 
Uh, it's back by the first case, kind of the throne. Is that the, the king's oh, chair, it looks it like? Yeah. Dang. So this is what got super hot. Yep. Right there. Estes method on the chair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is true. That's good. I just think it works differently for everyone. You know, rules, superstitions, beliefs that you have about the board, I might not share. But, you know, it doesn't mean either of us is wrong, it's just going to work differently. You know, a lot of the rules and superstitions that people believe today, uh, if you believe you shouldn't use the board alone, that's a pretty popular superstition. I would suggest if you believe it, don't do it. That's what would unlock it. Like, if I use that devil board, well, that's what I'm calling it, and I put, like, something over me, and I'm like, I don't believe in this board, then most likely I can't get affected by it. But if you're like, oh my God, I believe in it, you're having a sad yeah. day, that, that thing might come to you. Yeah, that's but true. you don't, I don't know, what's your belief on boards in general? Are you just going open-minded? Yeah, I mean, I believe the board is a tool to have a communication. Right. I don't believe it's the entity person or whatever you're speaking with. Right. Yeah, so I mean, that's okay. my general view. I try to think of it with the same logic as a cell phone. Okay, Which is yep. not to break or burn it if I have a bad conversation, just hang up. Like a cell phone, you don't always know who you're talking with. True. And like a cell phone, I don't believe I have to say goodbye. I don't say goodbye to most people I talk to. I don't believe I need you on a board. But it's one of those things, again, if you believe you should say goodbye on the board, that you're closing it, or it can't hurt, or maybe it, maybe what John said is right, but can't hurt if I close it, you should do it. You wanna have the best experience. Because I'll guarantee you that if you believe you should say goodbye on the Ouija board, and you use the board and you don't say goodbye, or you forgot, you forgot. Then you manifested you, something. Then the very first bad thing that happens to you, you're gonna believe, you're gonna you believe it's from the board. 100%. Dude, this is so legit, man. I really do believe like everything that's happened, like he yeah. says. And, Cause this is what, that's how I think too. I think the same way about it. So I, I personally, I like the dark side of the board. Oh, you know, say that's the dark I'm, stuff that you want to say. Yeah, yeah that's say. the stuff I am drawn to. But you know, I like obviously that it's meant for good, used for bad. But, um, so I like that there's a mystery around the board. I like that, you know, we don't need to explain everything. Right. Sometimes uh, I like that there's things that are like, wow, it makes me think, how is it working or what's going on? Um, but you know, when people come to the museum, uh, usually, you know, I, I show them a lot of things like the kids using it, the couples, and uh, a lot of times they go to leave the museum, they're like, you know, I'm not so nervous about the Ouija board now. And every single time, I'm like, God damn it, John, what the hell are you doing? You this sure? board has a reputation, and you yeah. can't let people leave the museum. You can't let everyone leave the museum wanting to use the board. The fact that they're feared is why I love them. And so usually I want to back that up with a few stories. Uh, so even though most people see it the way in the museum, this board does have a dark side from the very beginning. The very first time we see a depiction of one of these boards in the newspaper, 1886. That's four years before the Ouija brand exists. The headline to the newspaper called it a devil board. Do you have that paper? Uh, I can use your copy of it. It's not in the museum oh, okay. now, but yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll Google that. Yeah, so it's called a devil board. Wow. So they were called devil boards before they were called Ouija boards. Uh, and you know, we're in New England, so the first suicide associated with the Ouija board came from the year 1900. It was a woman down in Bridgeport, Connecticut, so consumed with the messages that she was getting from the board, she wanted to find out for herself where the messages were coming from. So she took strychnine and she poisoned herself to get to the other side of the board. Holy shit. Wow. These are true crime stories. This is none of that Hollywood shit. This, this is, is real true shit. stuff. And Do you so, know her name or anything? Yeah, I got a newspaper article about her here. Um, this is here, her in Connecticut. And um, Jeez. in here, what's great is on her deathbed, she told her husband, God commanded me to die. Wow. Yeah, you, know, you have the first murder, first Ouija murder, uh, 1933, down in uh, Arizona. Uh, that was a, a mother and daughter using the board together. The board spelt back the message, Daddy must die. So the daughter took a shotgun, shot her father in the back. When police investigated, she said, oh, it was an accident. I tripped and I fell. The police knew that the projectile of the bullet was up high, not down low. So when they investigated further, she said she'd been using the Ouija board, and when the Ouija compels, it must be obeyed. So wow. That's the first Ouija murder. So even though these things are happening, uh, most people are still not viewing it as evil or negative. Um, you know, because of the war, because they're affected by death, they're using it more for comfort. Dang, that you just freaked me out. Thanks. <laughs> like, <laughs> literally, I was like, fine. I'm like, oh, I, I kind of want to use that, you know, the, the scary board over there. And I'm like, dang, I don't even want to use it. 
You, you did what you wanted. That's exactly what you said. You, I, yeah, the, you I, I like the Ouija board. I like that it's a, it's somewhat of a roller coaster in the sense. You Jesus. know what I mean? I can tell you good things or bad things. Whatever you want to hear. Damn. It leaves you in a very tight spot, man. Tight spot. Yeah. It's like what if it's what if we use that board now and then the craziest stuff happens to uh, one of us? Well, just don't do what the board says it wants you to do. Yeah. True. I mean, you do have self control. The board I tells do. you to kill. Uh, <laughs> You know, yeah, doesn't true. mean you gotta kill. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how easy that is. I mean, we don't know. It, it, Josh is about it, to take us out tonight. Yeah, oh my god, jeez. It's interesting, man. This stuff is insane. All right, guys, this is where we're gonna finally start this investigation. We learned about the Ouija board. We learned about his museum. By the way, it's the only one, like he said, in the world, which is epic. This is where we leave our, you know, leave us our goodbyes. All right, appreciate you guys coming in tonight. And oh, if you get a chance, you. anyone watching, please come visit Salem, Salem Witchboard Museum here on Essex Street. And uh, I'll leave you to the investigation. Have thank fun. You, man. Right, thank, thank you. Thank you. Dude, what do you think? I think this is going to be a crazy night, man. Dude, I mean, just with everything behind all of this, it's going to be well, insane. Just with that board that's sticking out on the, that no one has used since. Over there makes me feel weird already. So we haven't even started filming. Did you think that he was gonna say yes to that? <laughs> no, actually I didn't. No, I didn't either, but dude. That's why we try to. Oh, dude, because that that's why you ask. always try, and there's yeah. always eighty percent no, eighty percent no all the time. Yeah, that twenty percent so, came in with a yes, dude. And I, w I asked that, and I was like, all right, he's definitely gonna say no and stuff like that. And where when he said yes, I was like, no way, damn. Like, <laughs> yeah, me too. I was like, damn, we kind of have to do it now, but dang, why do you say yeah to that? It's like, they always say no. I and then know. this one time, he's like, yeah, 100%. I never so. got a great response. Like, he was excited. I was no. like, no, why are you excited, man? All right, so, well, dude, I mean, we're here. Let's set the... Let's, let's set some, yep, let's yeah. set some stuff up, and let's kind of introduce ourselves. Yeah, we'll introduce going. ourselves, set the stuff up, because, I mean, it's a good-sized room to kind of have different things with music boxes. We have a bunch of gear. Oh, yeah. So, I think... We can try and figure some stuff out. Yeah, let's get it. All right. Right now, we have this whole place. We So as you can tell. It's not we, a big place for a whole We, we did a few changes. We got rid of the yeah. whole sweatshirt thing that's right there. But let's go over some of the gear that we have out because we have this place absolutely surrounded, but in a good way to where it's not really going to affect with us moving around right here. And we have kind of all of our surroundings. So let's just go over it. We have a... Is that you? No. That, Already? The REM pod right away. But so we have a REM pod on the ground. Um, that was actually kind of insane. <laughs> but um, we have a cat ball on the tarot card chair. What's just that? That's say? the tarot, yeah. And then we have the music box right here on that case. And then coming over to this side, we got all of our night vision cameras right there. We have the flux too that is uh, right there on the ground, along with the REM pod on top of. The demon board. Yeah. That's <laughs> Mu good. Music box facing that way and the thermal facing this way. So it's just gonna be a whole bunch of stuff that hopefully we get responses with. Um guys, we were just told no one has ever done this. No one has filmed a YouTube video here before, and it's just kind of an honor for us to be the first ones to come to Salem and be able to share this with you guys. I mean, dude, what do you think? First time. Well, because we're the first, you know, we have to be the ones to hold it down, and you guys have to be the one to note that we're the first because we put a lot of effort in. What was that? That was totally a great was... hit. Right when you said it, too, and talked. This is good. This is good. This is really good. All right. That's crazy. That's what I mean. Point is, we're the first to do it. We're the first to kind of lead on. I'm sure you guys are going to watch it and be like, we got to go here next. You guys can do it. But just remember that we started this thing first here. Don't forget that. I don't want to be that guy. But I thought I just heard some type of weird noise whisper type of deal. I'm not going to say it. I'm not that guy that goes, I just heard a whisper. Yeah, yeah. It was a weird noise coming from this direction. But, all right. I think we just got to get into introducing yeah, ourselves. Into okay, spirits. We just want to introduce ourselves. I know this might be different and new to you, so... I just want to let you know that we come peacefully and respectfully, but uh, we know that there could be multiple things here, and uh, we just wanted to let you know our whole intentions on being here is 
just to learn from you, to uh, communicate. My name is Tyler. And my name is Josh. And I just want to say thank you for allowing us into your space. And we hope that uh, you can interact with us. We put a lot of things in the room that you might notice. Uh, a lot of things that light up. What I can tell you is that nothing is going to harm you. Nothing is going to hurt you. So you can touch them. Feel free to try and move them. Anything that you would like. We have no intentions of taking you out of here. <gasps> what? Oh, what? On the chair. What? On the chair. What? Oh my god. Right when I said, can you interact? Yes. On the chair. And that's the same chair that he just, that the, that the owner said that they removed from the, 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 the circle. Dude, I got chills. Oh my god. Thank you. Dude, it's not stopping. Oh my god. Those are hard to, to, to move. I, those are no joke. Dude, those, that... Alright, Spirit Talker is now on too. I'm just gonna leave it right here. But, um... Yeah, so... I don't even remember what I was saying. Dude, oh, it's no. still going? There's someone sitting on that chair, bro. Okay, that's good. This is amazing. But, well, oh yeah. So what I was saying is that we have no intentions of taking you out of here. But... We also will say that you have to stay here. You can't come with us. Yeah. If you're attached to any of these Ouija boards, you stay with them. We're just here to talk to you and communicate and learn. No one has been... What? Oh, Jesus, dude. It says ground. Ground. So one of the things that could be haunted is the grounds of this place. Yes. It necessarily, and he said it too, it doesn't necessarily be anything in the room of objects. So we could be talking to which is from the past all the way to judges or even ghosts or demons from the boards, literally. So, dude, just so you guys know, oh, this is, there is someone on that chair as we speak. It's not, it's nonstop going off. We're not even moving it. It's not like... Can you make that go off again? <gasps> yeah. There is something tied to this chair. Why is it here? You heard his story. This is huge. This is amazing. This object is 100% something's on that chair. There's no way that that should just be going off like that. Dude, yeah, because there's someone on it. 100%, there's someone on that chair. The only thing- My blood. What? My blood. My blood. Is, My there, blood. is your blood in that chair? Now remember, Ouija boards, people would put their blood What's on Ouija boards. And I've, I've done it too, in the Hinsdale house. And there's, dude. Now are we talking to the person and that their blood is tied to the chair. It's still going off. This could be one thing. What I can do is we can do, we're just going right into this video. Should I just take the DR60 out and put it to there? I mean, yeah, I, I would. Cause this is nonstop going off. I have, we have- I had an injury. I had an injury, I had my an blood. Injury, my blood. So did you die in that chair or did you get killed in that chair? Remember, remember too. Some of the stories with the Ouija boards, people would kill themselves or sacrifice yeah. stuff. They had injuries. That, we have to keep that in mind. There's a lot here. Dude, that is nonstop going off. I'm gonna have to reset this. This is insane. It's not killing. even- Killing. Killing. So you got killed. It said killing. Died yeah. from a killing. Well? Yeah, could be from one of the stories that he told us. Or- Or that board's talking to us. All right, I'm, I just resetted this. I reset this, I'm putting it back on. To start it over. If you can, if you can tell us throughout the words in that box, did you, are you from the board? Are you from the chair? Or are you from anything else in this room? Can you tell us? Let's ask that again with this. Can oh. you explain what the DR60 is? I'm gonna place it down after. The DR60? Yep, to the, to the spirits, because no one else yeah. has used these. This is so, a what's that temperature, from? Temperature, temperature, temperature. Okay, spirits, what this device is right here, is it's just an audio recorder. It can pick up, well, it can potentially pick up your voice, but you have to try and talk into this as clearly and loudly as you can for us to have the best shot of hearing you. There's gonna be a little red light that blinks on the front of it. And just please try and talk into that. Again, this device will not hurt you. It's just a way for us to actually hear you. So please, anything that you would like to say or answer our questions, we're gonna leave it right here on this chair. Wow, bro, that's the longest that has been going off for temperature. That is kind of It weird. doesn't even stop. Can you stop? Demonstrate. Demonstrate! 
Literally, what they're talking about. Demonstrate. All right. They're going to demonstrate. Are we going to demonstrate for them? Maybe. All right. So, all right. So, we're going to do a small one right here before Dude, we put so it on the chair. Off. That's crazy. This never went off like this. Hang on. I'm, I'm taking the temp out. Just just in case. Dude, we know they want to talk to us. They're eager. This, this is a this crazy is start. All right. So, basically right now, what it is, it's recording. So, I'm speaking and it's picking up my voice. So please come to me right now and try and say something as loudly and clearly, anything that you'd like, right into this box. This is your demonstration, so please try and just say whatever you want. Tell me how your day is. As in like the planchette board's all made out of wood. I just want to throw that with you. Yeah, no, that's true. And that was Josh talking. But... Hopefully your day is good. How do you feel about us being here? Okay, I'm gonna listen to this back. And Obviously. <laughs> My light just died already on the IR. Really? I'm just letting you know now. I gotta get batteries. So in. they're taking the energy yeah, already. Right now. All right, let's try and listen to this. They say, what does that say? Help? Hell. I thought it said hell. How do you feel about being here? Hell. Okay. That's something. It's a star. I don't so that's, that's a demonstration. Hell. Maybe hell, hell, no, hell. I don't know. Well, that was a demonstration. Because what, what I what I'm thinking too is like, what if it's going to be better if it something is fully connected to the chair? Well, oh no, it is. Yeah, we're putting it on the chair oh, now. Yeah. yeah so, hang on. I have to get batteries for the IR. Like one second. One oh, it's second. going off again, dude. It just didn't. It's just nonstop. Dude, it's insane. I am alone. What is that? I am alone. They're trapped with the board. Trapped with something. Unless maybe there's only one spirit in here. No. No, we're talking to one or two. Remember, there's one on the chair right now. Yeah. Just so you guys know, it just said, I had a cut for a minute to put the iron. on. It just said toys and bullet. Bullet. Toys, though. Toys. All this is considered toys be before. Yeah. Everything is going with the Ouija board is what the spirit thing's saying right now. All, All right, right, let's drop it on let's there. Let's put it on. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's you. But uh, we have the um, DR60 or the voice recorder on that chair. Tell me you heard that. I heard the footsteps behind you. That was... What was that? Like clear as day, something just moved right in back of me. Can you do that again? I won't lie, that's the first time I've ever heard anything like that before. I, maybe our camera's protected. Oh, I'm like jumping now. Wow. Who's sitting on the chair right now? Is there anything evil with us right now? Should we be scared to be here? Did the Ouija board made you hurt people? Why do you like that chair? Are you trapped with that chair? All right, 
let's listen to this back. Cause yeah. I mean, I saw some solid spots. Yeah, it went solid red, right? Yeah. Okay. There's something else in there. No. Yes. Whoa. Why do you like that? Should we be scared to be here? Is the Ouija board made you hurt people? Yes. Why do you like that, Chad? Because. Are you shocked with that, Chad? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I heard that one. Yes, I am. What'd you say? Are they trapped with the chair? Yeah. It said, yes, I am. That was a clear one. And it said eyes, and this is we're really here. But also, remember now, the ball's not even going off. No, dude, the ball hasn't... As if he just moved away from it or doesn't want yeah, to talk to it. Yeah, maybe that's why it went dry, but it's like... It didn't go dry, because we heard, remember the noises just a second No, ago? I meant, yeah, on the oh, recorder but on the and recorder, stuff. Yeah. But it's like... But it looks like they moved and walked to, to oh, here. What if they walked away, that's yeah. That's what I'm thinking, they walked over here. Are you over here? We still want to talk to you on the DR. What if we put the DR on the Ouija board? I say let's try it. And remove the salt. No, I'm just asking. Now no, I'm asking yeah? for it. No, we'll definitely. You're going to hear the music box go off, but. Ask. What did that say? Did it? It said ask. It oh, just said ask. I didn't ask, but. Yeah, we, we didn't ask to move the salt. Unless they mean ask, like, ask, like, ask us, talk to us again right here. Maybe. All right, here I go. Actually, you know what? Let's move this one. Let's turn it off for right now. Um, I don't want to turn it off, but let's put it this way. Help us. Talk help to us? us. If you talk to us, we can try and help you. Just said help us. All right. It's interesting. Right, I'm going to place it right here. We're going to talk to this board now. What was that? So that's the thermal. Oh. Is that you? Oh, it's oh, okay. One, two, three. Me. No. That shouldn't be you at all. I don't know. I mean, you weren't close enough, but maybe, I don't know. I'll just reset. Oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Right. Put it on the board. Okay, on the board. Starting now. That was weird. All right, we have um, the voice recorder on the Ouija board. From darkness. Oh, from darkness, the Ouija board from darkness. That was us whispering, by the way. What's your name? If you want us to leave, tell us to get out. Unless you like us here, then tell us to stay. Do you want us to use that board? If you want us to use that board, make that... What did I say? If you want us to use that board, either say something into that recorder or make that music box go off again. That was weird. <gasps> Can you make that rum pod go off? Just to show us that you are here. 
I believe that you're here. Wow. Okay. Who are you? Should we be scared of you? Are you Zozo the demon? If you're that dark presence from that board, why did you make that kid go through all of that trouble? All right, we have a long one to listen to. It's one minute, 11 seconds. Now, dude. When have these ever went off? Not in my videos in a long time. Dude, the music box, I think the last time I had it go off was Hell's Hospital. Yeah, it's yeah. been a long time. To have that music box go off, we put this device on the d d dark Ouija board, and then it says dark presence. Yeah. That's not a coincidence. That was weird. That's that not a coincidence. Weird. And just remember, whatever was on that chair is not Explosion. doing it. Whatever was on that chair is not doing it, and we heard the walking. No, that and is And then true. that goes off. That can't... Next to the can, there's candles right there. There is candles right there. That's weird. We're gonna have to listen to this back. Everyone wants us to hear it. We're gonna hear it right here. I'm placing it right here down. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, nervous, bro. That's the beginning with the REM pod. Yeah. Get out. Did it? Hang on, watch. Nothing, nothing on it. We got nothing on it, but yet we had full-blown footsteps movement, and that's going off. Maybe the EV... Uh, again, again. What if we try a different EVP? Sometimes the DR60s just don't do it at some spots. What should we try? I have another one. I never used another one in years. You want to try yeah, it? Let's try it. Let's try yeah, it. Yeah, this is the first time not using a DR60. Let's, let's try it at this point. I mean, we're in the most craziest museum right now in the world. Let's see what we got. So we know they don't want to talk to us using EVPs. So for now, we don't use them. Yeah, the no. next step, what would be, is doing an Estes method. I think so. We would have to do Estes or Spirit Box first session. And overall, yeah. I'm down. Yeah, let's try it. Take your, uh, let's use, let, we could try the S box and kind of just keep it posted standing up. Yeah, no, I. Walk left. Our left would be here, to the box. It said walk left. This is our left. Yeah. When we were looking, we're here. Well, we walked left. Are you trying to get us to use that? <laughs> Every time that music box goes off and the board talk. Yeah. See? Yeah. I'm gonna move that over here. 
they want us here. All right. Obviously, the viewers all want us to use that board, but I'm nervous right now. I want to try a spirit box with that board before. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Can you say any of our names? Do you remember us? Or remember our names? Maybe. Maybe. So my name is Josh and he's Tyler. Can you say our names? Did you just hit that branch? Help. Probably. I just heard help. No, the branch. No, but it's shaking because of me. No, 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 dude. I have it on film. Unless you... If I you, sat down, though. No, 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 no. The branch went like this. Did it? It went like that. Oh, I don't know. That's going off now. Look at that. That's going off. Brown eyes. Someone's touching it. Look. I feel weird. Someone's... Bro, someone's touching it. I'll even move the show. Make the colors light up again, please. That's I didn't do that. No, I know. Like, show how close you have to get to it. You know what I mean? All right. Anytime we get closer to the board, that thing fires up. Yeah, look. Look, I'm even gonna move it now. Oh my god. The music box is going off. Alright. It said bye. It said bye? Bye. Alright, we're trying to talk to you now. We're gonna listen to you. Should we use the Ouija board, yes or no? Board. 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 Can you say Ouija board? I heard Ouija. Did you? I heard Ouija. Board. What's the deal with that board? Is it evil? Crazy? Can you say evil? Tied. 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 So say the devil is tied to this board. And I'm holding it. Yes. It just said yes. Girl's voice, yes. Can we see you if we look through the planchette? Yup. Did it just say yup? Yup. Wood. Wood. If I look through it, can I see you? Alright, you know what? Oh, there's no glass. Should we talk to you? Kill or heal? Dude, I'm starting to feel like a little nauseous holding this, like sick. Really? Yeah, I can feel it. Like there's something tied to it. Like it's just like draining me already. I thought I was that. Been running back to me. Did you hear that? Yeah. He's dangerous. He's dangerous. Yup. Dude, I'm just feeling something holding the board. Hang on. Dude, the board. There's Should I try and hold it? Yeah, try holding it, bro. When I held it, I was feeling. Use this. 
I can use this. I can the use board. the board. Dude, even holding it feels weird, but it said it said stuff. It said Ouija board kill everything. It was saying it through. You have to really listen. I heard it through there. I want to I want to switch it. I want to do the SB7 now. Yeah, look. Demand. 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 They're demanding. Yeah. They're getting angry now. Whatever it is is getting angry. Human. Human. Are they like coming at us? I don't know. All right. Let's switch this one. Is it okay that I'm holding this board? Yeah. Yeah. If we play this board, will anything bad happen to us? What's attached to this board? Did you like it better when Josh was holding this board? If you like Josh better, say Josh. Alright, so we just put the board back. Before we use the board, should we... Should, I want to try... I'm making noise. I'll make... Alright, let's listen. Yup. He just said I'm making noise. Yeah, and that was again. So what do you want? You want us to use the board? You want us to sit on the chair? Want us to try dowsing rods? I wonder how they would respond to that. We yeah, want to try them? Yeah, I think so. You take them out. Let's try the dowsing rods. Yup. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm actually gonna move this. I'm gonna move it. There might be someone standing here, but. Yeah, it's very strange. I'm gonna put it right here instead. First time using dowsing rods in this place. I'm sure they know how to use these. Seems like all spirits do. Can you show me your yes position? It's not as like, strong as I thought it would be. No, I went. Can you show me your no? What if I did these in the chair? Ooh, yes. We know that we know there was someone in the chair earlier, clearly, and they got up, heard the walking, and they moved. Can you show me your yes? So it's literally a different spirit than what we were just talking to. Dude! <gasps> you can't even make that move. You have to literally tap the whole glass. That's heavy. Can you show me your no position? It's slow. Oh, fuck. Conjure. Conjure? Wait, what's that one? Oh. So it's open for you as closed for now. Okay. Are you the spirit that's connected with this chair? <gasps> no on the rods, but then the tap on the ball. Soon. Can you straighten these out for me, please? Are you connected with something else in this room? Attachment. <gasps> Just when you said that. And it's going over to yes. It's super slow. Can you use these rods to point in the direction of what you're attached to? But if it's the chair? It said no, it's not with the chair. Eagle. Eagle. Okay, 
So you're saying yes. It's going slowly, but it's saying yes. Okay. Yeah, well, let's check these rods. But who knows if it gets taken over? We'll tell by the energy in the rods. Can you point at what you're attached to? There it goes. Literally towards the board. Okay, I'm gonna go in this direction. Wow, this is so weird. That's me. Can you point to what you're attached to? attached to another board. Okay. I know you. Okay. Do you know one of us? Well, that said no right away. No, yes. Remember it's oh. opposite? Because oh. before it, it switched with whatever they were answering. Are you the same spirit who was showing us who was being attached to something? No. No. Do you want to change your yes and no's? Are you frightened? Oh. I'm okay at the moment until I figure out who you are. But this is heavier now, dude. This is way... You heard that, right? Yeah. I have like the sh chills, dude. Okay. But I felt... Oh, I'm getting a cold breeze. Dude, it's freezing right now like i am shaking whoa dude i'm getting the craziest cold break bro i have chills up okay now i'm frightened all right all right, all right. hold on this is something that else. scared me okay. dude look at my arms i'm not kidding <laughs> dude look dude, at, dude. <laughs> look at her arms we're both feeling the same way how can we on command there's Make no the way. Come out. There's no way. Okay, let's figure out who this is because that scared the shit out of me. Did you follow us? Yes. Right? It's cross. It's show me your yes, please. Why did it go so slow? Okay. Cross. <gasps> cross. Did you hear that again? What is that noise? As soon as you said, as soon as you said cross, it said cross. It copied what you said. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Show me your cross. Cross. Dude, it's like on the back of my neck. It feels so weird. Dude, I know. Hang on, I'm getting They're your not cam. One of those bad things. I'm getting your cam here. Yeah. More angles, bro. This is insane. Did you follow one of us? Unless it's trying to point to me, I'll move over. Dude, it just... It feels like there's like totally different spirits trying to play with these. Because that's not the same spirit who was going... Look at like, it, move right on me, move over. <laughs> so it said yes though, that's still the yes. No, because they switched it, but it's like, I don't know who's talking anymore. No, it's that's just my issue, messing. because I mean, we saw it to where they were moving quick. And then they started moving slow, they wanted to switch the answers. Ask if they're mad about us putting the board away then. Are you mad that we put the board away? See, this is I mean, the stronger, the strongest the yes st we've got. Can you show me your yes? See, it's back to what it was, so. So we know yes is open. Yeah, all right. For all the spirits in here, yes is gonna be open. Cross is gonna be no. Has any of these boards been talked to by Zozo? Has Zozo ever talked to you through the boards? Can you straighten these rods? I said yes. Unless Zozo is the person, which I doubt, but. Are you Zozo? No. 
I think he's just trying to scare us. I yeah. think it's only like supposed to be yeah. the Ouija board demon. It's, they say dowsing rods are supposed to be worse than Ouija boards, but I don't know. No. Maybe. Should we know. be scared? Strongest yes. Dude, and dude and you mean, didn't even move. Aren't no. You... What did it say? Point these rods to where you are right now. It said chair. It said fucking chair. It literally said chair. You want to try this? Yeah. Can you film that? Yeah. Bro, I'm keeping this right here. It said chair. That's Point to wild. where you are, chair. That's wild. Come on. Here, we'll. Ever since, you know, I don't know what's getting released first, but even for you guys, I've started using these and I love them since the Conjuring series. All right. Same with Tyler. Yes is gonna be open, cross is no. I wanna talk to the person or the thing attached to the board that I put back right there. Can I do that? Yes. Yes. Yeah, look, wide open. All right, can you straighten the rods out? Amazing. Settlement. Settlement. Is that board possessed by something evil? Whoa. Dude, yes. It's insane. I get excited using this every time. Can you straighten the rods out? Are we in danger if we use that board? Bro, straight up. You can take my energy like you're doing just for this talk. All right, here's the real question. Are we both in danger if we use the board? Yeah. Yup. Oh, it's keep it, dude. It, does it's, it, but like it pushes by itself. It's so strange. Okay. Has that board ever been used or talked to by Zozo? It's a weird one. Look at that. It opened, but it's like moving right and left. Like Zozo on the board. True. Bro. Oh. You know what I mean? Bro. It goes back. I thought I just heard something again. Remember yeah. what I said? Street. Back and forth. Have they ever talked to Mama? What the fuck is that? The top one, M A M A. It's doing it's the it's it. What did it say? I don't know, I don't even want to look back. It's going to change my movement position. These are some of the best things I've ever used to talk. Dude, it's crazy. Dude, guys, seriously. Get a pair of these things. This is freaking, maybe this is worse than the freaking Ouija board. I've never had responses this good in my life except from DR60s and stuff. It's weird because when I'm not with you, Tyler, and I'm with anyone else, I can get DR60 responses. But when I'm with you, for the last three, four videos, I got no DR60 responses. I, I don't get, get it. get EVPs. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. EVPs are super rare for me, but I get all this other stuff. I have the biggest headache right now. Yeah. Yeah, I feel tired from the dowsing rods, but I know that board definitely can pull something. Like, not, it's just not tired, man. It's just like, ever since holding that board, I don't feel good. That's what I said. That's literally what I said. I said, you, you could, it feels weird. I've not been able to feel feel better. Let's just get, let's set this up. Let's set this up. We're doing it. We're giving you what you want. I think. Dude, my camera's dead. Which one? This one. Just now? I, I do you have know. another battery? I do, but I mean. Yeah. Wait, is this one good? Oh, this is still recording, but this died, the IR. IR died. Don't know what's gonna happen, but I kinda just wanna leave, like leave things all around us happens my triangle device i never seen that i don't know it's like it's not it's not even red or green anymore there's something wrong with this it's defecting it 
It's taking its energy out, bro. It's not working. Wow. This is the first time. Like this doesn't even work. It's useless. This is the worst Ouija board in this place. Right here. This is the one that he said, his story. All right, how do we start it? That's the thing. Like you're supposed to go, take your two hands. We have to go like twice around. One, two, three. And now we just ask questions. Um, Is there anybody here with us? Bro, I don't want to smile. Is, did you move it? Maybe. We want to know who we're talking to, if we're talking to anyone. You told us to bring this board out and you'll talk to us. It's moving a little bit. Like my like fingers keep like coming off of it. Well you gotta you still gotta like put pressure a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I'm dizzy. I feel dizzy. I don't feel good at all. I feel like the room's spinning. Which is weird. Like I'm following it, I'm moving it with you. I'm just going with the thing. Is there anybody here? I think it feels like it's supposed yep. to go in the yes direction. But it's not going. We're inviting you to talk to us. We want to know your story and who you are. Oh. I'm just going with it. Is it going to a letter? Sound like there's a whisper right in between us? Or was that you? I don't know. Could have been me. Can't warm up. Was that my camera? I think so. Do we just go to goodbye and reset? Why did my camera shut off? <laughs> Screw it. My camera shut it off. We have your, we have more to document. Your cameras are rolling. I mean, mine's yours going. Rolling. Keep yours going. That's crazy. All right, side camera. Thank God it's rolling. My camera just died. This is not a dead battery, but it died. My triangle's dead. His light's dead. This is not a coincidence. This is not a coincidence at all. Someone is 100% messing with us. Again, now we can update it. My camera battery just died. It did not need to die. This is dead. His light's dead. We're losing all our stuff. And it's all because of this. It's being drained. Something's draining it. Something's draining us. That's the other thing. When we're using it, I'm getting, I'm feeling like my room's spinning, like it's warping. I just, That's what I feel when I hold this, but I it's not sick. moving. I just feel <sighs> sick. I'll even move this out. Okay. Do we restart the whole thing? Honestly, no. We're still in session, in my opinion. I said goodbye. I did it. All right, let's do it again. Let's see. I heard a crack next to you. It was right in back of me, yeah. Is anybody here? 
Whoa. It's strong. That's and that's you? the crack no. I'm going with it now and following it. I'm following it. Jesus Christ. I'm like kind of tearing up. This is weird. Okay, no, we put it back, remember. We do? Yeah. That's the one thing I know, is after it hits, you push it back. Are we safe? I'm move, bro, I'm going with it. I'm going with it. No. Pushing it back. Now this is our chance to just stop it and not move forward in case. Who are we talking to? Do you want us, do you want to tell us your name? Nothing now. Do you want to tell us your name? Are you still here? What was the point of that? Got yes and no responses and that was it. Do you not have enough energy? Unless they're just messing with us. If they don't care. Were you just messing with us? Like I got pressure on you. You have pressure on yours or no? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm feeling pain in my, my head here. Are you causing this pain? Don't know. It pushed to yes and then no. And that was it. No, I don't even remember what we said. If it was a good spirit. And I said, yes, no. We oh, asked no, if anyone's here. We said, asked if anyone's here. I said, yes. And we asked, are we safe? No. And that was it. Now this guy's have like nothing is going off now. You wanted us over here. You wanted us to do this board. Music doesn't even talk to talk. You said we're not safe. Are we not safe? I even got my finger on barely. Goes again. Are we not safe? Yes. Yes, we're safe. I asked, are we not safe? So what does that mean? I don't even know what I asked. Are we not safe? Yes, so we are safe. I guess that was a confusing question. How about you stop messing around and talk to us for real? following it bro I wouldn't take your fingers off no so I didn't mean to I just yeah no I'm 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 making sure when it turns back I pull it back I don't care so it just said no stop messing around no that's all I'm getting out of it do you want us to stop this So weird. Should we just say goodbye?
I'm with it. the goodbye for us so what was that we got a yes and we got are you safe no and that was it I, I don't know I mean if I wanted to fake something geez we could have made an epic video today everything leading up to this I would I would have said screw it yeah let's go right but no of course we're keeping it real and then we got the yes and a no, and that was it. I won't lie, it freaked me out. No, yeah, no, it was it was a bit weird. I agree. But it's just, I thought something crazy was going to be tied to the board. But, I mean, it's been like, what do you say, like eight, ten years? No one used it? At that point, maybe nothing is attached to it anymore. I wonder if we just, like, awoke in it. What do you mean? Like, we just, like, today was the first time to where we brought, like, this spirit out of its like hibernation oh uh, i mean maybe i mean our 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 uh your light died my camera died and the triangle died yeah. in the process true and it did still go to yes and no it said we're not safe and it said no so that is true but nothing else happened after that like i said i, I pretty much moved it to the goodbye for us and that was it so at that point and i kept my hands on it strong actually so when we got to yes and a no, I mean, that that's that was I can confirm like you know that was hundred percent you know, so which was pretty weird and scary, but it didn't talk or nothing, not even like something epic you know, which is odd though. I still feel like like out of it. Yeah, no, I feel zoned out. We've been drained, I and mean, this was they still drained us. You know, stuff happened tonight. They drained everything. It's still a weird night for sure. A weird thing happened, you know? I mean, it's, it's, we can definitely say it's an active spot. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, that, there's something tied to that chair. We don't have, you know, much time to mess with the chair anymore, but the dowsing rod, everything, I mean, grade A. Yeah. DR60, this, I don't know what to fucking think. Um, <laughs> Our, our music boxes, I mean, we had some, the Spirit Talker, everything was still on point. From REM pods, the Spirit Talker, we learned music the, We boxes. learned about the boards. I don't know. I mean, unless we're atta unless they're, they're like, that's the only other thing I was thinking. When it says we're not safe, and it said no, and then they like attach themselves to us or something. That's the, that would be not cool. Guys, this is, this is where we're gonna end it, I mean, I don't think there's anything else that we can really do. Not in this room anymore. I mean, yeah, we... Was that you? I don't know. We'll just go with it's nothing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, with all that we could do, I think we kind of nailed it in the right direction. I mean, definitely an active spot. Uh, some stuff, like I thought this was gonna be a little bit more, but who knows? Who knows from the history and how long if, you know, they need to be played off, then I have no idea on that direction. Yeah. But we're, we're, we're out of it. I mean, the equipment's going down, we're going down, so. They're draining us, too. I think it's just time to where we say this is it. But, I mean, it was definitely one of the investigations that I'll probably put a little bit higher on the ways of very interesting. I'd say the same thing, just because the location itself. Location itself, history, um, just the education that we were able to get tonight was really cool. Yeah. But we're drained. We're going to call it here. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you all have a great night. Thank you. Peace.